What's up, everybody? Welcome to Clown World News. Uh, one of my patrons has done an incredible job compiling a lot of this Kyle Rittenhouse information, and he's found a lot of footage that I have not seen. Just a couple clips that I think from different angles that I think are somewhat relevant. The most relevant one, I would say, is this one. Of This is Gage Grosskreutz. He was live, and he actually walks up, or he runs up and talks to Kyle as Kyle is running down the street. And look, so listen to what Kyle says. Kyle basically says, I'm going to the police, and, and then I can give it up, maybe. Shots. Hey, what are you doing? You shot somebody? Who shot? So again, listen to him. Who shot? Who shot? Hey, stop him! Yeah, so that was kind of crazy. So you can clearly tell that Kyle is running to the police. He says he's running to the police. But if you want to see a, a better angle of just the scope of what he was running from, we have this angle down here. These are all synced up, all these clips on this, this channel. I can link all of these different videos, but check this part out right here on the bottom right. Hey, I'm going to refresh my shit. He's calling! He's calling! He's calling! He's calling! He's calling! He's calling! He's calling. He's calling. He's calling. He's calling. And then he continues running all the way down to the police. And you can see the police at the end of his line. So this is, for Kyle, this is probably just like the long run, longest run of his life. So here's another angle of the first incident. You can see him initially juke right here. Here he is, right here. Rosenbaum's right here. Rosenbaum starts to lunge at him. So he jukes and runs away, clearly showing he was attempting to escape. Now we hear that shot, that's not uh, the AR-15 shot, you can hear it here as well. There's that first pop, not from Kyle's gun. Those four shots were from Kyle's gun. Fuck you! So you can Fuck you! No way, he shot that motherfucker? Oh my god, he shot the guy. Holy fuck. He shot him. Holy fuck. Call 911, he's down! This dude running did it. Take screenshots. That dude shot him. That nigga just shot that dude! Yeah, so then Kyle had to just run all the way down this long road and while people were all screaming at him, get his ass, beat him up. That dude just shot somebody. Now, that is the clear case of mob mentality. Like, what do you think the mob's going to do? They're not going to just grab you and drag you to the police and be like, we did it. Like, what are they going to have? Do they have a council? Does the mob even know each other? They don't. They're all just going to get emotionally charged. That dude... Uh, Let's check it out with gross crits. Sorry, I didn't have this up sooner, but uh, he says he he says he wishes he would have killed them. Let's see if we can pull this up. Alleged comment told Grossman told him he wished he'd killed the shooter. Kenosha Antifa members shot in arms. Can't. 
His only regret was not killing the kid and hesitating to pull the gun before emptying the entire mag into him. Yeah, that could be hearsay, but there is that information. Now we do have, uh, let's see if I can find it. We do have a video of Kyle actually bringing a, uh, a fire hydrant, a fire extinguisher, I'm sorry. This is actually supposedly the cause of why they were chasing Kyle in the first place. This is one of the alleged causes, is that they were putting out dumpster fires. So they're actually pushing this dumpster fire towards a gas station. And you can see Rosenbaum right here, right there. Rosenbaum's pushing it. Right here. So the militia puts out the dumpster fire. And I be it is believed that Kyle uh, may have been employed at that gas station. And he was invited to help clean up vandalism the day before, or maybe earlier in the day. So, uh, he, him crossing state lines with the gun and all that, and it's not illegal for a 16-year-old to carry a long rifle like that in Wisconsin law. There's lots of people in the comments who are like, everything doesn't matter, he did this, that, and the other. It all makes, it's okay for mass murder. Helping put out a fire is a free pass to murder people. Got it. Like, these, you literally, like, these people... They don't think very well with the logic part of their brain. They think so much with the motion. So here's Kyle running in with a fire extinguisher. So this is the information that I find relevant. I think all of this paints it all in a very clear light. Kyle Rittenhouse practiced exercise self-defense. And he will hopefully... God willing, be found not guilty of his charges, and potentially even the people who accused him of things like being a white supremacist, a mass murderer, they could even potentially be, uh, you know, brought a defamation suit. So yeah, uh, there's actually even, if I can find it, I don't think I can, Facebook leaked memo about... Kyle uh, Kenosha. Ah, there was a supposed leaked memo I found about uh, Facebook just basically saying they've already decided that it was mass murder and that it, while the militia groups that post on Facebook don't necessarily, they may not break the rules about promoting violence, but if they post stuff in support of Kyle, in defense of Kyle, and or related to QAnon, they had to throw that in there, then they can uh, delete their accounts, delete their pages, shut down their pages. So yeah, if you're defending Kyle on some of these platforms, you could potentially be shut down. I don't think that that's affecting YouTube, because I think YouTube is, is smart enough to realize that they can't police their content as much as other places, otherwise no one's going to want to use YouTube. And it seems to be okay so far in regards to making videos about Kyle. Though I have heard that my account is shadow banned. I've heard other things. On Instagram, out of shadows, the hashtag, you can't search for it. You can still follow it and like find it if you type it in. But not if you type it in the search. So there's just a lot of weird censorship going on. It's all quietly being done right before, you know, November. So we got one more month basically until November. Uh, I wonder if this whole case will be brought up and it will be used for the election. I don't think so. I have a feeling that something even crazier is probably going to happen. Will it be aliens? Will it be giants from Antarctica? Will the lost old ones, will Adam be risen again? Or will it be something more reasonable like, I don't know, the giant protests in Washington, D.C. and they all take a bunch of trucks and just ram them into the gates at the White House. I don't know. That sounds... Honestly, it's 2020. Anything could happen. Nothing sounds unreasonable anymore. So again, shout out to my Patreon uh, for helping me out by sending me all these links detailed and broken down. It's very, very useful, very helpful. 
And if, if you also support independent journalism like this, and you can check out the description, you can also check out the Patreon. But that should wrap this up. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be lots of people in the comments saying, you're a retard, it looks like you do heroin, and you're supporting a mass murderer. You're just wrong. This is not self-defense. Because Kyle got a speeding ticket in the past, therefore you, there's no such thing as self-defense anymore. I think it's a clear-cut case. I, I, I feel like I, I kicked this horse to death. It's dead. We gotta stop beating this horse, but like, yo, he ran away. He wasn't trying to instigate. The instigators chased him, and he turned around and defended himself. And then, in the, the court of mob mentality, they chased him down even more. Hopefully, this was a lesson to a lot of people on both sides. Like, hey, let's chill out. Let's, uh, let's, let's not. <laughs> Let's just not. So yeah, stay vigilant. Call your mom. Be a good person. Peace.